What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well today we're going to go ahead and do a short video discussing LHR cards and the update that T-Rex Miner came out with just a few days ago. So if you guys are not familiar, T-Rex Miner came out with 24.0 just a few days ago and what that does is that allows you on LHR cards to do dual mining which means that you can simultaneously mine two different coins at the same time with Ethereum, which is the big one. So in our example today and with uh, T-Rex 24.0, you can go ahead and do 30% Ethereum and then do 70% Ergo or 70% Ravencoin. So in today's example, we're going to be going ahead and testing this well-known GPU that a lot of you guys picked up on Newegg when they had a Newegg shuffle, and that is the Zotac Twin Edge RTX 3060 Ti. Now, on these boxes, we can clearly see that it is LHR, as it has that lovely tag on the back of the light hash rate. So what we're gonna do today is I have gone ahead and got my 3060 Ti hooked up on my test bench. I have been mining a few different coins with it up till this latest update of T-Rex Miner. We've been mining Flux, we've been mining Ravencoin Lite, Hivecoin, a little bit of everything because Ethereum really hasn't been a great option. So I have gone ahead as well and hooked up a voltage meter to go ahead and uh, show you guys exactly the type of watts that we're getting. Now in today's video, I'm not going to be doing any overclock settings. I just wanna show you guys the concept of how this works and then allow you guys to go ahead and work on your overclock settings. Every card is different. You're gonna need different overclock settings. In addition to that, I'll show you guys in the T-Rex uh, notes and I'll put a link down below they actually provide you some recommended overclock settings based off of the different cards. Now, unfortunately, our 3060 Ti is not listed in those notes, but you can kind of take a pretty good guess based off of some of the configurations. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and let's go ahead and dive in to T-Rex update 24.0 as well as 24.2 and show you guys exactly how to set up your miner to mine Ethereum and Ergo or Ethereum and Ravencoin. Okay guys, welcome to my HiveOS Banshee rig. Uh, this is that test bench rig that we saw there. And here you can see we're running the Zotac GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. So on completely stock settings, we're not doing any overclock settings here. Now, here's my PSA and my disclaimer. Don't run your GPUs stock. The hash rate to wattage ratio is terrible. I mean, right now, take a look here. We're at 36.11 Ethereum, awesome. But we're also at 230 watts on our GPU by itself, which is crazy, it's way too high. You're cutting into your profit margins by keeping them stock. So that's my PSA video today, just showing you guys the concept as to how this works. So we're at 36.11 Ethereum right now, stock at 230 watts. Let's talk about how you take advantage of the new T-Rex update. So come into your flight sheet, edit your flight sheet, and in this situation, we're gonna go ahead and talk about Ergo. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy in my configuration and then I'll break it down for you guys so that you guys can understand exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so the first two lines are default. You don't have to do anything there. I'm gonna go ahead and put a space in between. Don't put a space, but I'm gonna put a space in between to help separate it for you guys. The next line, you guys are gonna to wanna to go ahead and copy. Now I'm gonna put this whole thing down below in the description so you guys can just copy and paste this into your Hive OS. So we have LHR, Algo, and this is Auto Lycos 2, which is what Ergo runs off of. We then have URL 2, so that's saying the second coin uh, that it's gonna mine, what is the pool? And right now I am mining to Nano Pool. Find out what your stratum is for your pool, as well as the port, and just add that in here. You can get that right off of the pool's website. And then the next line where it says user two, that is your wallet address for Ergo. And then finally, password two, if you, the second coin, your password for it. And I don't have one in this situation, so I'm just gonna put an X and leave it at that. As you guys can see in the bottom left-hand corner, 0.24.2. So we are on the latest T-Rex 
miner that is out there. And we're going to go ahead and hit apply. Let's remove that space, apply, update, and add to all workers. Now, while that goes ahead and applies and updates, let's go ahead and take a look at the top here. So here is the uh, T-Rex latest update came out 20 hours ago and it's the 0.24.2. So this piggybacked on top of 24.0, which down below here, you can see what we were discussing originally at the top of this video. This unlocks dual mining mode. So that's exactly what this is, dual mining mode, LHR dual mining mode. And that goes ahead and gives you 30% on Ethereum and 70% on a second algorithm. Now, there's a few different algorithms that you have to go with, though. You can't just pick anything else out there. Like, you couldn't go Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. Like, that, that's not exactly how it would work. Now, they've made an update more recently to T-Rex Miner 24.2, which I haven't tested yet enough, so I don't want to speak intelligently to it, but I'm looking forward to it, is the LHR Auto-Tune mode. And that's something I hope to touch on on a future video uh, that you can see here in 24.2. I'll put these entire notes down below in the description. HiveOS went ahead and today, October 10th, went ahead and added 24.2 into their releases, as you can see here. And they speak to that LHR auto to tune mode being added into that just the other day they did add in 24.0 which was on october 7th so let's go ahead and cut back over towards our rig here and as you guys can see right now we are on ergo and if oh, should i say ethereum and ergo and on ethereum now we're at 14.53 so let's go ahead and look at hive shell because Ergo will not show up in here. Now it shows right here, which is great, but let's get a more granular view. So if we go to Hive Shell, this is where we just need to read it. It's not too intimidating, don't worry. So as you guys can see, GPU zero, 3060 Ti. Here we're doing 15.32 is the latest post on ETHash. Right below it, we can see GPU zero, 3060.0 Ti. 78.89 on auto lycos 2 which is great and actually it's actually posted higher 83.44 down here so that shows you guys that we're mining ethereum and ergo at the very same time now something to take a look at is in the notes from t-rex miner they went ahead and gave us some recommended overclock settings now the 3060 ti is not in here yet so we'll have to keep an eye out for that but as you can see our 3060 they're saying is 12.5 and 74.5 so we're kind of right in between here right in between the 3060 and the 3070 ti so something important is you don't want to run this stock so we do need to go ahead and get some overclock setting in overclock settings in i don't have those yet i'm just showing this to you guys as a concept okay so now without wasting too much time uh, we're going to go ahead and swap over to ravencoin so ravencoin we're going to do the very same thing we're going to go into flight sheet we're going to edit our flight sheet oh there we go i'm like where did it go okay so now that we're going to edit our flight sheet here we're going to remove what we put in there in the bottom half for ergo and we're going to add in our kapow information so let me copy and paste mine in here there we go and i'm going to add a just add a space to make it easier for you guys to see so our algorithm is now kapow which is what Ravencoin runs on. We mine to minerpool.org. If you guys don't mine there, I don't know what you're doing. But uh, here's the stratum address for that with the port. Here is our Ravencoin address. And then uh, I do need to go ahead and add in our password there. But for this test right here, I'm gonna go ahead and put an X in place. Once that's finished, let's go ahead and do apply, update, and apply it to that. And we will check back in just a minute, guys, to see what we're mining on Ethereum and Ravencoin at the exact same time. Okay, so we are back now uh, mining Ethereum and Ravencoin. You guys can see here that we are at 13.79 for our Ethereum. 
our wattage has gone up quite a bit as well. Um, we are at 240 watts right now, which is crazy at the wall. Uh, if we go ahead and take a look at uh, Hive Shell, you guys can see here we're actually at 16.53. Um, or I'm sorry, 17 Ethereum, and then we're at 18.08 Ravencoin, which is actually really good uh, for Ravencoin there. But as I said, the power is crazy. Like it's not profitable enough. So we need to make sure that we do get some overclock settings in. So these are, this is the new method with uh, dual mining with T-Rex miner. I think there's a lot of potential here. This puts us at a 30-70 split. My hope and goal is that as time goes on and the updates start to come out, that we start to see that 30 number for T-Rex Miner Ethereum move to like 35, then to 40. Like, how far can we take it? Now, 24.2 is adding in this kind of LHR auto-tune mode, so it's not static at 30% and 70%. It, this new mode that I haven't tested yet, that I want to let you guys know about, though, does allow this miner to push that mode past 30 until it detects the uh lhr kicking in and then it tries to find like the perfect balance between the two uh, which is awesome like that is really really sweet anyways guys that is it for today i appreciate you guys joining me to take a look at the new lhr dual mining mode that is available from t-rex miner in update 24.0 and updated to 24.2. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.